At this time of the year, traditionally we pay our respects to all of the men and women who've lost their lives in the many different wars that have taken place across the world. We wear the poppy. This is symbolic of the sacrifice that those men and women have made for their different countries. The poppy, symbolic of blood, but also the first flower to regrow in the battlefields in Belgium and France in World War I. It's a beautiful flower, and again, a mark of our respect. We think about all of the men and women who are still serving across the world today, putting their lives on the line for our freedom, for our democracy. So, we can never repay the men and women who have lost their lives. We can never repay them for what they have done, but we can remember them and we will remember them. We will always remember them. The Soldier by Hamish Mann. It is a strange look on a man that is dead as he lies in the shell swept hell and to think that the battered corpse once lived like you and well. It is strange if far when you come to think that you may be soon like him. And it is fear that tugs at your trembling soul, a fear weird and grim. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, that mark our place and in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly scares heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours holds it high, if ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep the poppies grow in Flanders fields.
to my knees in the arms of the angel fly away from here from this dark cold hotel I just can't do this anymore! I can't. Look at me. Look at me. Now you listen carefully. Don't you give up now. Think of your mum and dad. I'm scared. We're all scared. I don't want to die! Mum? Yes, my dear? What is Remembrance Day? Remembrance Day is a day to remember all member of soldiers that have died saving their country. So like that friend? Yeah, like dad's friend and many more like your great man did. So then is this the letter? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and read it? Right. My darling and loving wife Emily, my thoughts are with you as always. I wish that I could be with you instead of being here in this hellhole that Belgium has become. I miss you so very much. I miss little George and Harry more than the world can describe. And I pray for the day that this war comes to an end. Please pass my love onto the children. Hug them tight and tell them that daddy loves them very much. A week has passed now since we arrived on the front line. I heard the horror stories, but still, they could not prepare me for what, ha what I have seen. The smell alone is enough to drive a man to insanity. It is that bad that many of the men have been sick. Raw sewage from the open cesspit. Body odour from men who haven't had a decent shower for weeks. Dead bodies rotting in shallow graves and lying out in the open in no man's land. The smell of exploded bombs and the smell of mustard gas that lingers for a few days after the attack. Stagnant mud cigarettes and cooking smells all day to the unpleasantness of the trench. They say that we get used to the smell over time, but I don't think it will ever leave us. The smell attracts rats. They, they are everywhere we look and they seem to be unafraid to show themselves. This is so much waste here that the rats are thriving. Some of them as big as cats. I shaved my head yesterday because my hair was crawling with flies. Most of the men have been scratching and itching almost since the day we got here. Rain is a constant companion. Flooding the trenches and turning the floor into mud. It is so bad that some of the men are getting sores on their feet and can hardly walk through the pain. Sleep is so hard to come by, with the constant booming and banging of the shells from both sides. My bed is a bunk which has been placed in a dugout section of the trench. A mud roof, a mud floor and the constant threat of a stair shell keep me awake at night. I'm scared, my darling Emily. My life and the lives of my friends is under constant threat. Bullets randomly fired at us, shells exploding every minute of the day. Men are dying all around me. If not from a stray bullet or shell, they are falling with fever and disease. Four of the boys in my squad have died already. My best friend John shot himself in the foot 
just to get out of here and away from the country. He will be treated in a field hospital and sent home. Tonight we are going over the top. I'm scared, but the thought of you holding me, holding you in my arms once more gives me the strength to carry on. I love you with all of my heart. Your loving husband, George. stand on my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush. Of quiet birds in circles flight, I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we shall remember them. Please join us wherever you are for a minute's silence as we remember the fallen.
Let us pray. Almighty God of truth and justice, we hold before you those men and women who have died in active service in the two world wars, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, and elsewhere. As we honor their courage and cherish their memory, may we put our faith in your future. For you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. Today has been a solemn occasion, as we spend time remembering and thinking about what others did for us. Many have given their lives believing that they were fighting for freedom, for their children, and for their grandchildren, and for us. We cannot ever repay them, but we can remember them. We will remember them. We will always remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Thank you for being a part of our 2020 service of remembrance.